Hey, welcome to Whiskey Wednesdays here at the 44 Degrees North Whiskey and Seltzer Bar in Sturgis, South Dakota. I'm glad you're here. I'm David O. Parker. I am one of the people who attend bar here. This week, we're going to talk about Jefferson's Ocean. Now, Jefferson's Ocean is a very interesting whiskey, to say the least. You're talking about a company who goes back to 1799 to the grandma who got arrested for selling liquor. <laughs> That's quite their tradition. Now, in 1997, Trey and his father, Chet, they teamed up with Osearch. Now, it's O-C-E-A-R-C-H. It's a company that does ocean research. They basically track great whites and big sharks to make sure things are going well for those. And, you know, so we know what's going on. Anywho, they decided they were going to take their whiskey and put it in barrels and put it on the ships. That's right. They put it out to sea. Now, this one is Voyage 23. You can find that right here on the label of the bottle up top where it comes from, because there's several different voyages, right? Now, the average voyage, they're gonna hit 25 ports around the world. They're hit five different continents and cross the equator an average of three times. Now, if you wanna know where this one has been, go ahead and jump on and go to Jefferson's website and look up Voyage 23 and you can see the log everywhere it's been everywhere it went the whole nine yards now this is a very interesting whiskey I had to research this smell because it's called briny now I can pick up on the toffee but I had to look up what the smell was I couldn't place it I just, no matter how much I smelled it, I was just not grabbing it. So it's briny and toffee, right? Now, I tell you what, to me that tastes like salted caramel popcorn. And of course something else, I can't place it. And since I can't place it, I challenge you to go on the website and figure out what it is. Now, it's got a warm finish. And that smell, that brinery smell, is also in that taste at the end. So this whiskey has been around the world more times than the average person. This whiskey has seen more countries than the average person. Why it sat in the ship rocking it back and forth, because they felt that that would give it more flavor. And I think they're right. So I highly recommend Jefferson's Ocean. We're going to get some more voyages. We're going to get some cask strength in here. We're going to do some other things. But hey, if you're in the area, I want you to know something. We are also a seltzer bar. Right there, we have 25 different with vodkas. See, I can't even say the word vodka. No, I'm just kidding. I love vodka too. We make seltzers out of them. We put some fruit in there. We make them bubble and dance. It's a great taste. I don't want you to get confused. Here at 44 Degrees North Whiskey and Seltzer Bar, we are a bar. We have everything. We have the tequila, the rum, the wine, the whole nine yards. So if you're not a huge whiskey person, we still have what you want. Come down and try these seltzers. These are fantastic. They're great. Plus, we'll make anything else you want. All right? So, Jefferson's Ocean is this week's Whiskey Wednesday here at 44 Degrees North Whiskey and Seltzer Bar in Sturgis, South Dakota. Get yourself a glass. Get yourself a sip. Taste what whiskey tastes like when it goes all around the world. We'll see you next Wednesday.